<laughs> hey everybody, it's Swap Meet Wednesday. Welcome to the show. We have four sellers in the back ready to get active and get some sales out to you people. And I'm sure you know everybody by now. Melanie, Brandon, Marion, and Jerry all here with us today. And I just wanted to put that little banner up because I know we don't talk about it enough. Most of us, some of us, a few of us do shipping, whereas if you buy one, two, three items, it all goes in a box, and then we calculate the shipping, and that's what you're charged on your invoice at the end. If you purchase something, and we hope you do, in, you're going to get an invoice from the person or people in this case, because you'll notice Brandon has two names under his picture. We have a new seller, which is Brandon's mom is going to. I thought it was a straight identity. identity. <laughs> um, so they'll send you an invoice and you will deal directly with them. But still, it is an auction. All sales are final. There's no returns. Uh, if you have a problem with something damaged during shipping, just contact the shipping person. If it's the post office, you contact USPS, put a claim in, and then they'll help with that, and it'll help us also. Excuse me. So I hope that makes sense. So how's everybody doing today? Wonderful. And how is the store coming, Melanie? It's back. Eventually, it'll open up. <laughs> a little at a time. <laughs> What's the latest? What's the latest on it? I'm shooting for November 15th. She's got competition across the street from her. Yes, a new gift shop just opened up across the street in like three days. And they're basically selling the same stuff I'm selling. <laughs> and it's a gift shop? Yes. Wow, you're not a gift shop, though. You're I'm a not a gift shop, but I buy a lot of things and sell. And I was looking at the prices that they have, and I have a price tag of $2, and they have a price tag of $22. So, wow. like, so you shopped at the competition already. 
<laughs> right? Yeah, it's it's wow. bad. But yeah, I was over there because I was looking at their displays, how they run things, taking some pictures. I'm like, oh, that's a nice idea for my store. That's a nice idea for my store. <laughs> so you can change the name of your store and put it lower than theirs. <laughs> Uh, that's all it takes. You got to shop the competition. You got to know what's going on so yeah. you know what to change, what to adjust. It's just amazing. They opened up within three days. They took over and just three days opened up. So did they oh, have I do that. You, that's because you're doing it by yourself, and they have probably like fifty people that way. Oh yeah, they do. Right. Yeah, yeah I, I was talking to the team. manager. They said that this is their nineteenth store that they opened up. Wow. What's the name? Still What's operating? Mm-hmm. They have, so they have 19 name? open. They have 19 stores open. They're a chain. This one happens wow. to, I, I don't want to give the name, but it's their title with number 19 on the side. And I'm like, what does 19 mean? Oh, this is our 19th store. Like, wow. <laughs> wow. So you just tell them, say, this is my first. Um, well, I'm hoping to have 50 by the end of the year. Um <laughs> I'll be lucky if I can even do this store. I haven't even opened yet. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. And no, you didn't see that coming at all. Not at all. You'll Nobody be thinking about this. It's probably like a spirit store. Just show up and take over an abandoned building. <laughs> right. that's, that's what they did. You'll be fine. I'll be, I'm not worried. Most of my sales are online, eBay, Macari. So yep. it's I'm not worried. It's getting, it's getting to be when doesn't it get cold there in Texas where you are? We have a cold front. It's been 30 degrees for the past three days. All right. It's so free freezing. hot chocolate with every uh, order. <laughs> you know, get yourself a Keurig machine. Free hot chocolate with every order. Come on in. We're, our prices are lower than theirs and put a big thing, you know, one of those fingers right. that you can at the event. Lower than theirs. <laughs> our, lower than theirs. And you get hot chocolate with marshmallows. How about that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You can make it work. We I'll have faith. I'll take so, charity. She has all the money. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see who we have in the chat room today. We have Rhonda. Rhonda is here. Hello, Rhonda. How are Hello, you? Hello, Rhonda. We have Lambo Stacker, Tim Powell, Diamond Wes Robinson. Lego Man is in the chat and on the screen. We got Elizabeth at the bottom. We got Elizabeth that I don't know who Elizabeth is. That's okay. Freezing up here, Paul. We went from summer to winter overnight. Hello, Mike. How are you? Freezing. Well, I can't wait to be freezing. <laughs> no, I'll take the heat. Hi. Yeah, you, it, did you hear the news today? It's supposed to be in the 90s again. Yep. Hopefully cool down a little on the weekend. Hopefully. Don't don't hold your breath with that, hopefully. Okay. Um, so if, Halloween here. Yeah. If you need to register that... An error occurred. If you need to register, here's the link. You fill that out. As soon as you hit submit, I will get it. And you will be good to go. Then I can share it with everybody. 1994. Um, oh, and there's an eight-second lag. Yeah, not too bad. Not too shabby. Lisa C. is here. Hi, Lisa. Lisa Full House. And I just want to say, let me do this. My new design is up at Teespring. I just put the link in. Don't ask me a question if you don't want an unfiltered answer. This is for the older generation people like me. Because I've been told many times, and I think uh, Melanie said it once, uh, unfiltered. Everything that comes out of here is unfiltered. And if you were on the phone with me today, you would have seen that <laughs> and, and heard that. 
Hello, Joe. Thanks for coming in. So we have 17 people. It keeps bouncing back and forth. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, thank you, Back by Silver. Thank you. Thank you. I got all my orders out. Even Jerry's order I got out. Um, Carmen, if you're in the back listening, you know I had to cancel your order because shipping was still over $150 to ship that oven. So there's just no way I could do it. So I gave you a full credit. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I told him brutally honest. That's what it is. That is So we're going to start. I like to come on early just to get things rolling, just to get people in the chat. Where did you get that tea? I have a friend that needs it. Um, I designed it, and I sell them on my Teespring store. I only have three items. Uh, one is from the two of them are from the city that I lived in in Massachusetts, and this one because so many people and I've noticed it lately that. Um, I'm not holding anything back anymore. If I feel something, I'm saying it. That's because we're older and we don't care. Yeah. See, Brandon doesn't understand that yet. Give him 50 more years oh. and he'll get it. That's mean. My husband always says that little political correctness thing that you have in your head, he doesn't yep. have. Right. Yeah. It goes away after like 50 yeah. years old, 55 years old. It down over the years. It, before it was a big thing, and it just keeps going, going, because like that is nothing. A breeze yep. comes by and turns it off. Exactly. Okay, Elizabeth, you are good to go. I have you registered. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do that. And let's bring up the first seller. Uh oh. Am I doing this? Uh oh. I am doing this. Okay. I told you you were first. I am first. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is a Coca Cola bucket starting mid $20. But you are going to get an entire Coca Cola vintage lot with a bunch of goodies inside. But let me show you what the goodies are. So the first thing, obviously, Coca Cola bucket. You get the little handle you're gonna get this cute little coca-cola holiday drinking glass you will get this cute coca-cola watering can and this one is from the year 2001 there's no date on the glass so i don't know what year the glass is you're going to get coca-cola salt and pepper shakers and these are from 1995 so this is definitely a collector's lot you're going to get the 1998 Coca-Cola pencil case. A Coca-Cola sled. Little sled ornament. A Coca-Cola truck. And this doesn't have a year on it. Doesn't have a year, but it's from Jiang Fung Boys. And then this little Coca-Cola bottle cap that you attach on a lanyard. All this is yours if you're interested. And we're doing, I should have typed that in, starting bid. I did it. I did it already. Oh, you did it already. $20 for the Coke bucket. Thank you. Thank what you. What is um, Diamond West too late for? I don't know. I don't think you're too late for anything. We just started. No, we just started. So you're good. Yeah. Bit away, have fun. We just started. So if obviously if there's no interest in the Coca-Cola lot, it's all vintage. Like I said, the oldest one is 1995, and it goes all the way to 2001. Okay, any interest in the Coke bucket? Set. The bucket alone is worth the minimum uh, starting bid. Mm -hmm. And she has it full of stuff. Oh, yeah. It'll be a nice little vintage set. Great for the Coca-Cola collector. Thank you, Frugalicity. And yes. Oh, uh, thank you me for not posting to my link. It's a trap. Just messing with me as usual. Oh, no, no, it's not a trap. <laughs> and I Anybody interested in the Coke out. bucket? You can simply write pass and we can go right to the next one. Because all of us have lots and lots of goodies to sell. 
Looking for a $20 opening bid on the Coke bucket. Bucket. Nobody's late. We just started. This is the first item. <laughs> There's JRKRs in. Or please type it in the chat so we can get it out. Yeah, I know Brandon has cards. Mm -hmm. You know Marion's going to have a varied amount of very cool items. Yeah, um, so. Put it in the chat if you're looking for something. Because I know one of us will probably bring it, bring it all out. And Mrs. Brandon, mom, mom, Brandon's mom, mom is going to have jewelry uh, coming up. Brandon's mother, first time teller. I will go to the next item because it looks like no Coca Cola. I will have it. Yes. You asked for it. I probably have it. Okay. This is for the serious collector. And for those of you who know about comic books, you're going to see Melanie. What is wrong with you? The yeah, entire... I saw the last one. I'm sorry. I saw the last one you had there. Yes. The, the back ent cover. The entire series of Thundercats. I'm doing $100 free shipping. Now, yes, that's a big amount, but you're getting all 24 issues. They're in really, really good condition. Number one. Number two, just look at the comps for Thundercats and you will see what I'm talking about. Issue number yeah. one goes for crazy amount. Issue number 14 goes for crazy amount. Number 22 and 24 go for crazy amounts. You are getting all of them. One to tw they only made 24 issues. And if they no, ever I mean, that? And, and maybe they want to... Um, Team those up with some original Thundercats figures. I don't have any Thundercats figures. <laughs> but you know something? If I had them, you know I would put it all together. And now that Thundercats is... Oh, you have the Thundercats figure. Yeah. He's got the Thundercats figures. Thundercats are for collectors. They know and they, uh, they collect big time on them. I got a lot of response from that. Yeah. The, uh, and the video I did. So, people, if you're into Thundercats, definitely check the comps. You're going to be amazed. If you're not I'm, into I'm, Thundercats, you will be amazed. And I'm telling you right now, $100 for this lot, you're going to get so much more if you either piece it out or if you decide to do an auction. I'm just throwing it because I love full show, and I love what everybody has. That's Makes me happy, makes everybody happy. But if nobody's interested, we, yep. can just we need to away. get Melanie some sales so she can put that new store out of business. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, if nobody's interested, um, just contact me later if you are, because believe me, look up the comps for the entire, you would be the only one that has the entire series on eBay. Nobody else has it. So. All right. Well, we're getting them warmed up. We're getting them warmed up. That's okay. So hang in there. You can bring them back. She'll bring them back if people are interested. She'll definitely bring them back. I or if you out, know, I can bring what, out other series. All right. If you know something else that she does, like DVDs, um, put it in the chat if you're interested in coverless DVDs. <laughs> so hang in there. And now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado. What happened? We lost. There. It is a little off. <laughs> I got cards. You need I me got, to put it in the chat? Um, normally Rhonda does that. I don't know if she's still doing I, it. I got you covered. What is it? What it's, cards? Uh, football cards. A uh, gallon bag full. Starting bid. I'm gonna do this one at fifteen. There's uh between the eighties and current football cards. But when you say current, you don't have any. Last couple of times you did these, you stopped at like 2016. Well, so that, it's not like you have last year's cards. Yeah, basically. Okay. So there's like so a put, L way. Well, I just put and up. Uh, let's see what else. It's Marcus Allen. Reggie White. 
Uh, Warren Moon, good quarterback. More Marcus Allens and just a whole bunch of different cards. There's some Steve Youngs. Um, Troy Aikman's. So you get the whole bag starting bid for 15. Anybody interested? A whole bag, a few hundred football cards. $15 start. Any interest? Fifteen dollars start on the football cards, Paul. I spoiled Brandon. Oh, no problem. No. Did you ever get my package, Rhonda, of the books? I know you're thinking about it, Melanie. Melanie's trying to be good and not spend money. <laughs> Uh, Any interest in the bag of football cards? Looking for a $15 start on all those cards from the 80s on up. Any interest? Okay, Rhonda. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't see that. I didn't remember seeing that. I'm sorry. I guess I'll pass these and to, just to keep the auction going. And I'll hand you over to my mom. All right. Hello, everybody. Hello, Brandon's mom. My name is Nancy. I also I just started a YouTube channel, Miss Ivy Vintage Market. Very cool. I'm new at this. And uh, and Brandon tells me you're from Chelsea? Yes, originally. Yep. Well, my mother-in-law lives in Chelsea on um, yeah. Commander Hill there where the uh, big apartment built. Well, I don't know when. When was the last time you were there? Um, nine, well, to live, I left there in 1994. Yeah, this wasn't there then. <laughs> Admiral Hill was there, so it, I think it's in that area. Wow. You know, remember Everett Station? Uh, I'm not Where Everett Station was, the Everett T Station? Um, on I Route 16, going to Sullivan Station? Yes, I do, definitely. Yep. They put a big casino there now. Yeah, I didn't know that. Wow. An enormous casino there now. Oh, my. There was an elevated yeah, train, uh, train yep. over there. Yeah. Yeah, that was. And it had electrical plants and all kinds of stuff going on there. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, it's good to be in in uh, away from the big city. I like I like uh, small town living right now. <laughs> really? Wow. And I'm just the opposite. I can't wait to be back. <laughs> yeah. Often the way you grow up, you want to explore different areas when you're older. Yeah. It, I don't. You know. I don't know. All right. Well, the items I have are. It's a starting bid of five dollars for your choice of any of the signed brooches. And if you're interested in any, just uh, recite the name of the company that I will mention here. First one is a Monet silver tone brooch. It's Monet. Next one is a uh, Lisner. It's gold tone with faux pearls. And the third one is Napier, the star shaped gold tone. And we have a Jerry signed Jerry's. Cameo, it's a rosin or plastic vintage cameo brooch. Rhonda says you have awesome jewelry and packages it with love and care. Thank you very much. 
And finally, we have a Trafari goat tone brooch. Hello, Ma. How are you? This one's very shiny. All right. We're looking for $5 for choice. Starting at $5 for choice on the brooches. Monet. Lisner. Napier. Jerry's. And Trifari. So. so five dollars start. Any interest? Any interest on the brooches? Looking for a five dollar opening bid. If there's no interest, just type in pass. So we can move it along. Nancy's a new seller with us. And like Rhonda said, she's got some nice jewelry. Here's the pack of the cameo. Is the cameo open back? Is that what you were showing? It's right there. It is, and it also has a loop you can wear as a pendant. What is it made of? Uh, it's a vintage plastic, plastic or rosin. And the frame is metal. Pass. Okay. All right, so no interest passing for now, Nancy. Okay. Thank you. All righty. All right, Marion, how are you today? I'm okay. I try to find some different things today. All right. This is brand new. It's from the movie The Wild Thornberries. Don't anybody remember that movie? I don't. I didn't see it. I do remember it. So... It's like uh, got little animals in here. It's all it's all new and never been opened. And what's I, your starting price? Five dollars. All right, wild thornberries figure set from the movie. It's Looking for a five dollar plus ship. Zip zaps. Uh, I don't know what they say. The, yeah, that's from a, a, a bit thorn, ago. It's called a Thornberry Kit. And I f found this in my uh, storage. Oh, it Melanie says away. Tim Curry was the voice in the movies. This is the back of it. In they have J-R-K-R -R in at five. Okay. I'll have a box We have for five her. looking for seven. It looks to be in good shape, too. It's perfect. perfect. Yeah. We have five looking for seven for the wild thornberries. Oh, Ma says, oh, Ma says, loved watching that in the 90s with my girls. Huh. I just remember, I remember the title and stuff. I don't remember when it came out. Eliza Thornberry and her chip 
Yeah, it's very. I mean, I deal in old toys and stuff, and nobody has ever brought that up or anything. I've <laughs> never seen it for sale. It's very cool. Maybe it's worth a lot of money. I don't know. I didn't even look it up. We got JRKR in for five, looking for seven. Five looking for seven. Ma says she has a copy on VHS. Wow. <laughs> and she needs this to go with it. <laughs> okay. Let's call it. Any advance? Is there any oh. lag today? Uh, it's not too bad. Under 10 seconds. Okay. It's on Nickelodeon. Oh no, that was just I hit the wrong button. I'm trying to get out of the I'm trying to get it out of this my draw here and it's stuck. <laughs> Damn. All right, I got it now. Now I should myself. <laughs> All right, we're going to sell it. JRK is the only one sold. Yeah, Rhonda, I didn't have it out of the drawer, so I it was stuck, too. <laughs> it's been a rough day for Paul, Rhonda. Give him Thank some you. Fun. Yeah. Okay. So I have a mixed lot here. You guys are going to have to help me. All right. I'm having a hard time hearing you, though, um, Marion. Uh, this is a mixed. Let me turn up the sound, maybe. How's this? No, yeah. I don't think you can, not on your iPad. Um, no. Okay. This is a mixed lot of cards. They were all loose, and I sorted all the cards, and these are the, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's, move it over to your left, Marion. All right. What did, what did your start? $5. Can you see it? Yep. Jerry's good with these. These are, I think, what they call garbage pail kids. There's, um, um, oh, what did I write down? I think uh, ten, 10 of them. Is that? No, that's not. It's nope, not? that's not garbage pail. No, oh, can we see the other side? That's the side there. Yeah. What? That's funny. My son has that truck. <laughs> I, I don't know what they are then. I, I don't know that one either. Um, that's funny, a, though. If you could just breeze through them, though. Okay. So but on, on those cards, you got to show the other side. Oh, okay. This side? Yep. yep. Those are artist cards. I just don't, I can't see who the artist is, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they're all different artists? No, it's the same. Art. You remember, like, they did, like, the Plug series and all that? Yep. And, and Boris. So, nope. You got to hold it to your left, Marion. There you go. There you go. Okay. Anyway, there's Bell ten jammer. Of, okay. Tell of ten of these. All right. Hello, Sun Moon Cricket. Please. All right. Okay. Okay, I got some more then. I have the Disney Little Mermaid cards. I had those yesterday. You have Melanie in at five. You said you had Garbage Pail Kids in there. Well, I guess I don't because I don't really know what they are. Those okay. Are All right. What are uh, little back. There you go. Right there is good. Right there is That's good. That's the Rocketeer. So I have like three, four, five, six, seven of these. Then I have uh, another bag. I had them all separated. Uh, these are, I don't know what these are. Oh. Those are chromium. Those are Marvel chromiums. They're really pretty. Whatever. Yeah, they're th embossed chromium. They're very nice cards. Okay, so all these cards plus a, a bunch of little Disney mermaid cards. All right, so there's a, a bunch of different cards, everybody, a mixed lot, mixed bag of cards, yeah. some artist cards. There was, uh, like, the image um, card. 
the Marvel cards. The, she's got Disney in there, Little Mermaid. Yeah, yeah these Disney ones. JRKR is in at seven. You got, yeah, JRKR at seven. Hello, Chuck. Going to move back just a little. Yep, there's a Little Mermaid cards. Sandal is in at nine. Sandal is at nine. There's 14 or 15 of these. Hello, Sandal. I haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, Back Road Bitter. Thank you, everybody. Sun, Moon, everybody for coming in. I appreciate it. These are all the cards. Marion, can you show us the other side? The covers. There you go. Yeah. They're pretty. Yep, they are nice. Yeah, they're pretty. Yep, they are nice. Yeah, Disney does a good job. Can you, any chance you could hold them all up? Yeah, I'll hold Just them. to give us an idea how big the stack is? Yeah. I think it's 15 cards. I think I, That's I all know. the cards right there? No, no, no. He no, means all of them. Right yeah, no, all of them. All of them. Yeah, because I was going to say, you held, you showed us more than that. I have them in these baggies. Well, I'll get them together. Yeah, just hold up the baggie full of cards. You can't see. The baggie has stuff written on it. Oh, okay. All right. It's I was going to say, just to let people get an idea of, you know, how many cards they're getting. Yeah, there's probably, I don't know, 30 cards maybe. I might throw in a few extra if I find them. Here's the whole stack. And... Some of them, this, this is a bigger one, that big one, it's in plastic. Yep. That's the so stack. that's every card that they're getting, right? Every card. Over to the left. Over to the left. Go. Over to the left more. Yep, yeah. just like that, right there. Right, right nope. there. Right there. So that's every card that they're getting? Plus this one that's Plus on that plastic. one, the yeah. Savage Dragon. Yep. Okay. There you go, everybody. We got Sand Dollar at nine, looking for 11. You got Disney, you got Marvel, got a sneeze. And I had some um, puzzle cards. Jerry Excuse knew me. what they were. Puzzle. Uh, if I find them, I'll throw them in. Remember, Jerry, the ones that have the stickers off of them? Oh, that was the Wacky Packs. Yeah, I have to find them. Yeah. I'll include those. So you've got wacky packs, but the stickers are missing in the front, but the puzzle yeah. backs are still there. Yeah. Any advance? Nine looking for 11. Thank you, Tim. Nine looking for 11. Is my email down here at the bottom? Yep. Nope. Nope. But it will be. Okay. There it is. Yeah. So. All right. We're going to start calling it. Nine looking for 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Sold. To Sand Dollar for nine. Sand Dollar, send me an email with your name, address, zip code. All that yep. fun stuff. Rhonda yeah. just put her email in. Sand Dollar, just send her an email saying, I got this, and she will send you an invoice. Yeah, I can't see the chat. So. Right. Well, to, we got have, it in. Was that your it. first or second, Marion? That's my second. All righty, hang in there. Yep. I'll put them in the baggie. Hello. Hello. All righty. We are starting out with something that I'm not keeping in stock too long because the Star Wars people that I deal with, they're grabbing these up for me as fast as I get them in. This is the VHS versions of the movie. These are before they started doing all the cuts and adding in all the extra special effects. The Star Wars fans who are the purists, they want to see it the original way that they saw it in the theater. So they're grabbing these and then converting it over to DVD. 
Um, but we're, we have the set here, and we're looking for 15 plus shipping. As I said, it's all in great condition. You get all three. Come on, get out. You got to go. People want to see you. Don't be stubborn. There we go. Here's the boxes. All nice and very little wear to them. You get all three. And you get to see Star Wars the way it was originally shown in the theaters. Any interest? Star Wars original theatrical versions. $15 plus ship. And these, of course, can go media mail, so you're only looking at like $4, so it's not that much. That's the nice thing with with these. And it shines so pretty. Hello, Mark. Hello, Mark. Looking for a $15 start on the original theatrical version Star Wars VHS. That must be an in joke between you and Ma, Paul. Star Wars, Paul. What did I say, Ma? <laughs> Sorry. Hello, Lady Pie. Any Welcome interest in the original theatrical version of Star Wars? And any interest? If not, we can move it along so we can get to more things. So we'll move it along. All righty. We are going to do a puzzle. This is all complete. It's 1,000 pieces. Looking for five dollars on the puzzle. It's all in great shape. Oops. Yeah. Same thing. Ooh, wonder why that's not moving. There we go. But if you're into the magic stuff and all that, makes for a nice puzzle. And this came out, let's see, in a year, 2002. Looking for a $5 start on the wizard puzzle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tough crowd today. They're quiet. Any if no interest, just type in pass and type in your request. I would like to see somebody sell mm. or I would really be interested in purchasing. Mm. And then we'll look at that. And I'm sure Melanie will go in her backroom magic closet and pull it out. Or Brandon will whip together a special bag lot full. <laughs> or Jerry will open up a bin. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. And Susanna, how are you? Any interest? Last and final call. Hi. For the puzzle. All right, moving on. All right, we're moving on. That's me? All right, here. I'm going to do something quick. Five games. Looking for a $10 opening bid. SOCOM 2 for PlayStation 2. Disc is in excellent condition. Complete. PlayStation 2 NBA. Looking for a $10 opening bid. Disc is okay. Has a couple of very light scratches. We. High School Musical Sing It. 
Would love to purchase Marvel Spotlight 5. Who's the first appearance in that one? Disc has been cleaned. Just Dance 3 for Xbox 360. Disc has oh, been dry, cleaned. Yeah. Could still use a good cleaning. Ghost Rider was in that. Ghost Rider? Mm-hmm. MLB... 2K13, no instructions. Disc has a few scratches. Look to be light. Ghost Rider. Looking for a $10 opening bid on the five games. Any interest? $10 opening bid on the five games. Excuse me, any interest going once, going twice, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, oh, I got to show you this, Brandon, <laughs> Brandon is snoring. <laughs> all right, Melanie, it's all yours. And you're muted. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm still I'm selling a collection of frosted glasses starting bid $15. You are going to get eight vintage frosted glasses. I don't know what year these are. But the style of these glasses. How much is the style? Oh. Fifteen dollars. You're gonna get eight of them. So it says California Gold Rush. This one says uh, Kit Carson. This is Discovery of Gold by James Marshall. You're gonna get the 1914 Stutes. Uh, California Gold Rush. Black Bart. These are in beautiful condition. No cracks, no uh, chips. Gold Rush Butterfield. And then Calvaris Jumping Frog Contest. And you'll get all eight glasses. Great drinking glasses. Cold to the touch. <laughs> and you'll get eight of these. $15 starting bid. And like I said, there's no date on the glasses, but this style of glasses were like early, like 90s and before. So I don't know exactly what year these are, but these are not new glasses. And if there's no interest in the frosted glasses, what I always say is check your comps and you'll see how popular these things are. Any interest in the glasses? Well, everybody needs glasses um, once in a while. Item. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, if you're into cars or if you're into the story of the California Gold Rush, and it's, like I said, a total of, I'm going to be a little gentle, eight of these. <laughs> I don't want to tilt, tilt them, but, but it's eight total. If I can hold it up a little bit. There we go. Eight of them. All together. Melanie brings the fire for three. I try to. It's just people don't take advantage of the sale. <laughs> All right. I'm thinking that's a no. Yeah. All right. I'll grab my second item. Oh, it's not? Yeah, I can't tell. I, uh, we're casting this to the what? other room. No, okay. it's just uh, I'm sorry delay. about that. It's just, the audio doesn't match my lips. Put up a okay. Japanese well, thing, then it'll be right, it. because it'll be like watching a Japanese movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's dope. <laughs> I'm dope. All right, the next thing I'm doing is a pair of of Arturo Chiang leather boots for ladies. These are size 
eight and a half, eight and a half medium. And they have beautiful little designer buckles. I'm doing these uh, $15 as well, which is anybody who sells clothing, who's not me, knows, girl, I'm crazy. <laughs> but yeah, a Kuro Chiang medium. The outside is leather. The inside is loined, but there's also some stretchiness to it. So if you have bigger thighs, it'll stretch to conform calves. to your thighs. Calves. Calves? Yeah, Same thighs, thighs. Are, thighs oh, are the yes. ones that are way up. I'm saying those <laughs> boots have to be very long. I'm sorry. If you have bigger calves, thank you. Well, I'm like, wait a minute. These aren't thigh eyes. Sorry. And then you can see the soles are clean. They're gently used, but they're in excellent condition. Even the tag is still on the bottom. If you needed bigger thighs, you wouldn't need <laughs> pants with those boots. <laughs> you know something? This is lack of sleep itis, Paul. I haven't gotten sleep in over a week. So And your store is not open yet. Shame it's not you. open yet. <laughs> so sometimes my um word choice is not exactly the best word choice. So I'm sorry. <laughs> But if anybody's interested, like I said, women's boots, eight and a half, medium, um, or, and they are Arturo Chiang. Do your comps on that company because his boots go like crazy. And these are, like I said, gently used in excellent condition. But if nobody's interested, wants Any interest hide, on the boots. She's done bumped her head. Hello, two hip chicks. And simply write past if you're not interested because what we could do is go to the next one and have some fun showing more items hello two hip chicks was selling some boots you're right ma i need more sleep calf those, high boots for those of you who've been watching my channel knows that there is an interesting battle going on with me and sleep so <laughs> you need to shut the computer and get to work and get that place open i know i know that i know but I have so much fun. You got to stand like, out in front of the other store, store and say, here, here's a flyer for my store for 10% off. It's going to open in a couple of weeks. And tell them I'm cheaper than this place. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's it. Nobody wants boots. Nobody wants All right. glasses. <laughs> Hold on. No problem. Yeah. So, we'll bring it over to Sleepyhead over there. Yeah. Come over to Sleepyhead. Um, <laughs> At least I get sleep, so yay. Uh, so I have a Pokemon card trading game. Um, this is sealed, and the starting bid is ten dollars. Yeah, but Brandon, sleeping in class doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pokemon card game sealed, everybody. Melanie's in at 12. She's wondering, is that $500 or $5,000 card in that box? She's, like, buying the Pokemon lottery ticket. It's a thin box. I know it's not, like, the thick boxes that are, like, that big. Because normally the boxes are, like, Aren't the regular ones like this big? This one's just like a size smaller. Yeah, but the other one, that's a tin, right? This is a tin, yes. Mom, the other Mom, ones are cardboard. Um, the year on this is 2019, so last year. Got sand dollar and it's 16. I can show you the bottom there. Nineteen, Melanie. Twenty nineteen. Unless you asked that already and it was already answered, and I'm just seeing it. Yeah, I think I said it. He he already answered it. I asked and it Sorry. Must have away. Melanie's well, in at twenty. Is Back by Silver said there are thicker tins. 
But those are the double stuffed Oreos backed by silver. <laughs> and Melanie's saying, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> Sand Dollar is out. Calling it to Melanie. Oh, Ten. J.R. K.R. comes back in. Was J.R. K.R.? Oh, she was. J.R. K.R., what are we doing? Gonna start calling it ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. She's out. Oh, no. Perfect. Oh, so, to Melanie for twenty. Soon to be seen in Melanie's new store. We're cheaper than they are. <laughs> Nancy's back. What do we got, Nancy? Hello. This time we have, uh, for a $12 start, your choice of three groups of tack pins. They're very versatile. You can wear them on hats and different purses and so so. First of all, we have places. All these tack pins show different places. There's 22 tack pins on this card. Hope I spelled that right. T A C pins. Tac, uh, I think I spell it T A C. T is in Tom. Okay. Yeah. Hello, Carol. Thanks for coming in. Just on time too. Was showing some jewelry. So pins well, anyway. Twelve dollars start. Your choice of groups. You get the whole group for twelve dollars, and this has twenty-two tack pins showing different geographical places. Here's the backs. Oh, so they're all the old vintage metal backs. Yes. They might be Especially that one. Some might be plastic, but the vast majority are metal. Yep. Yeah. So the places are the first group. Let's see if I can see that. So you're doing these by the, the card then? Yeah, you get the whole card for $12. And I have three. Wow, that's cards. less than a dollar a, a pin. Yeah. All this right. One, wow. This is a uh, 17 on this card for a $12 start and this is an animal insect bird theme. So, I'll show you. Here's the back. Yep, there's a dragonfly on there, a frog, there's an owl, fish. And the final group is just a 34 miscellaneous tack pins. Wow. I'll show you that. All right, looking for $12 choice of the card, everybody. You're looking at under a dollar a pin. Oh, Rhonda's on the fence, teetering. Oh, there's um, Madonna and uh, Dick Tracy. It says... Breathless Mahoney. Carol, she had a pin on Rhode Island, but the pin was so small, the back was bigger than it. <laughs> Hello, Pat D's. No, Pat, $12 a card. Yep, the whole card. So that's way under a, a dollar of a pin, especially on this card. You can have and thanks for coming in. You can have all the miscellaneous for 12 or all the animals and insects for 12 <coughs> All the geographical. Oh, we got Pat D's in at 12. Oh, thank you very much, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> but she says it with love, Paul. Don't worry. Yep. Well, let me know if you need a close up of any particular pins. You'll need the magnifying glass to show the Rhode Island one. There you go. There you go, Carol. <laughs> 
I couldn't resist that one. All right, we got 12. Looking for 14. Your choice on the cards. The whole card full of pins. Uh, shipping is the same way I do the shipping, Pat. They uh, they um, they do for wait. They just charge what the real shipping is. Yeah. So if you buy one, two, three, four, five items, it all goes in a box, weighed, and then dimensions, and that's what you're charged for shipping. Any interest? We have 12. We're looking for 14 for the whole card. That's right, Carol. Looking for 14 for the whole card. Your choice of cards. Full of pins. <coughs> We're going to start calling it if there's no other interest. No advance on 12. Going once to Pat, I just want one. Well, Carol, you have to find out who purchased it and then make a deal. I'm sure they will charge you probably $12 for that one pin, <laughs> and you will make their day. And Rhonda wants eight. Rhonda, you might as well put a bid in and sell the rest. Going twice to Pat for 12, looking for 14. 10. The whole card. Nine. For the whole card. Your choice of cards. Hello, Swamp Picker. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Sold to Pat. Pat, which one or ones did you want? Thin yellow, wide yellow, or green? He wants the green one and the yellow one with states. Okay, so that's the last one that was left. Does anybody want the last one that's left for 12? Which is the high bid. Is that the one you wanted, Carol? Did you want that for 12? Say it now or forever hold your peace. Carol wants the other. Okay. All right. Thank so. You. Thank you very much. All righty. Thank you, everybody. Marion, you're muted. Here we go. There you go. Hi there. Hey, I have the Hot Wheels card. Yes. Oh, Pat, um, their email. Hold on, Marion. Sorry. Their email is right there. Route66bricks007 at Gmail. Just tell them you won the two cards, and they would Brandon on screen. They will send you an invoice, and same thing for Carol. Carol knows already. Brandon, can you put your email in the chat? Can. All right, sorry, Marion. Fifty six Chevy. It's okay. This is a, yeah from two thousand two. It says. Uh, Collection 25, number, no, number 25 from the collection. Mint in the box, never opened. $5 to start. All right. 2002 Hot Wheels 56 Chevy. Looking for $5 to start. Still mint in the package. Actually, that's less than it cost retail when it first came out. Mm 
Is that think, water damage on the edge or? Looks like it. Marion, is that water damage on the uh, above your finger? On the front? No, not that I know of. No, I don't see any water damage. I don't know, maybe it's a spot. But it's it could water. be just the artwork, Jerry, too. Okay. Yeah. All right, looking for a $5 start on the Hot Wheels 56 Chevy. $5 plus ship to start. 56 Chevy from 2002 Hot Wheels. Any interest? If not, uh, if not, just type in pass. 2002 Hot Wheels 56 Chevy. We got a pass. We got a pass, Marion. Okay. All right. So I have, um, let's see. I got 16 pieces. Nine crochet hooks and seven knitting needles. Just a whole lot. Crochet hooks, they're all in good shape. The start. Crochet hooks at $5 to start. I just put 16 knitting because I don't know how to spell crochet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. So. Okay. Crochet is C -O -C -H -E. Okay. We got 16 pieces of crochet -O -O. and knitting needles. Don't ask knitting me needles. what the difference is. <laughs> knitting is knitting and crocheting is crocheting. Crochet is crochet and, and knitting is knit one, have... purl two. Looking for a $5 yes. opening bid. Okay. Thank you for the uh, spelling lesson, everybody. <laughs> you know, the lady Amber, ooh, ah, crochet. She crochets. Don't a lot of Any interest. These are different sizes. Yeah, I don't even, I don't know what the difference is. My mother did both. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, uh, okay. A little hook going on. This is a knitting needle. Well, this is oh, a crochet wow. hook too, a long one. I don't know what you make with that. Maybe they maybe these are all crochet hooks. Uh oh. Oh, they're not they're knitting, everybody. They're all crochet. They're all crochet. I thought they, they were these all long right. ones. So we got... I thought they were knitting, but not. They all have the hook. 16, 16 hooks. it looks like it says uh, croquet like says chicken croquet croquettes croquettes yeah c-h-e-t crochet what well, are you gonna crochet. crochet your croquettes anyway any interest we will pass i'll dig out something anybody interested later. now they're all crochet needles by the magic of the internet we changed them all to crochet needles crochet hooks crochet hooks that's why they didn't Knitting look needles. like sets oh, ah okay very smart there rhode island i mean carol <laughs> yeah, somebody knows something any interest on the i got uh, knitted by some ladies at church okay okay uh, Are you asking for sizes, Swamp Picker? He said, or she said, head of the needles show the size. Oh, yeah, on the end here. But I can't read it. They're various sizes. Yeah. Up to your left, Marion. Up a little high. Bring it up. Right there, right there, right there. Yeah, we can't make that out. It's hard to read. 
And yep. I just got new glasses and I can't read it. But yeah, they're on the ends. These ends. Up towards your left, right there. Yeah, we can't make them out. They're, they're various sizes, swamp picker. One says eight, one says ten. Oh, oh boy, there you go. He's wow. Have, he's got good eyes, Zach. Jerry. <laughs> he's using a magnifying glass on his TV screen. I can see him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any interest on the crochet needle hooks? Well, just contact me later if you want them. All right. We're going to pass them. I'm going to put them on eBay. They sell fast there. Are they Boyd's? Oh, I know that brand. Uh, Carol's just being difficult. Uh, this one has a name, but it doesn't look like Boyd's. I can't read it. Sorry. Doesn't know, Carol. I think they're just crochet. Well, they have a brand, but I don't. I can't read it. All right, we're gonna pass. Okay. That's I must two. really be picking Carol off. Hold, hold on, Marion. Go ahead, Jerry. There's the love. That's the love in this channel. Okay. We are gonna do five old TV guides. Oh, Swamp Picker, be careful. I heard about that. It was hitting. So you must be right there. Be careful. Yep. Prayers out to you. Picker. Yep. All right, we're going to do five TV guides. These are all old ones from the early 2000s, and then we got one from the 60s. But these are all the fall previews. You have this one from 2005. Look What's at your start bid? 15? Yep. This is 2004. That's 2003. That's 2002. And then we have this one from 1963 and 64. If you're a TV guide collector, these are the good ones to have. The fall preview because it shows all the new shows and has all the great pictures and everything in them. And they're already all bad, so you're all set. You don't have to worry about them getting damaged when they get mailed to you. TV guides, five of them, $15 start. We are running the gambit here of different varied merchandise. Oh, wait till you see what I got coming up next. Ooh. <laughs> It came out of my magic closet. Nice. Any interest on the TV guides, the fall previews? All right. Any interest? If no interest, just type in pass and we'll move it along. Everybody has more stuff to show you. Five TV guides, fall issues, one from the 1963 to 1964 year, and the rest are from the 2000s. The early 2000s, 2001. Early 2000. We have a pass. Three, four, and five. We have a pass. Okay. If you like that, you're going to love this. This is $60. It is an original piece of animation from Warner Brothers. What's a cell? It's a cell. Oh, I'm sure that they have your channels, Carol. Rhode Island has what, like three channels? At least. But it is. We have a satellite. Mounted. And it is the title scene from the cartoon Pop on Pop with Sylvester and his son in Hippity Hoppity. Is it a cell or a Cirrus cell? 
the thing on the front on the bottom right hand corner will tell you. It just says Warner Brothers Animation Art. That's what it says at the bottom. And on the top it just says animation. And on the back it says animation. And this artwork has been inspected by so-and-so. Okay. I've never taken it out of the plastic to see, you know, if it's an actual, you know, cell piece or if it's just, you know, you know or an animation. So I just left it sealed as is. Anybody interested in the Anybody animation art? We're putting Paul to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if you heard that. I did. <laughs> Anybody interested? Sorry. Anybody interested in? I think we all need sleep, I guess, right? Where's Maddie? Anybody interested in the animation art? Where's Maddie? She hasn't gone for a walk. Oh, I was on Facebook this morning with her watching the sun come up a little. Okay. I'll have to look later. All righty. We're going to say that's a pass. All righty. But there you go, Paul. You never had animation on your channel. <laughs> no. no. You're, you're muted, muted again. I'm and muted. I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep it muted so you don't hear the background noise. I thought you were going next, Paul. Okay. No, I don't think anybody wants um, original He-Man figures. I'll start with this little one, and I think there's somebody very in specific in the audience that's going to want this, but we'll see. What's your start bid? Uh, twenty dollars. It seems like a lot, but if you do the comps on this, that's a really good price. Okay, Ten. it is a Kevin Kelvin Chen number eighteen seventy four two thousand one Dragonfly with Grape Teapot, and it also comes with a certificate of authenticity. Oh, dragonflies again. <laughs> These are. These are very, very collectible. You can see the comp prices of these things. And believe it or not, $20 for this little guy is an incredible price. Yeah, you actually don't use it as a teapot. It's just no, this, it even says on the bottom decorative use only. Okay. The yeah. teapot, it, it says it's ceramic, but I almost want to say it it's like metal. Either that or because of the metallic paint. But the yeah, looks rim, from the paint, it looks it. Very yeah, nice. the, the rim is metal. The portion is metal. It's very clean on the inside. But when I looked it up, they said that these are considered ceramic. But like I said, even the yep. it sounds metal. Very cool. So it's it, these these are highly collectible. Uh, they call it an enameling tradition revived, and it gives a little story behind Kelvin Chen and his uh, pieces. Each one are numbered, and what else? It's 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 a very very interesting teapot. I know a lot of people say, "Well, that's pricey for a tiny thing." Check the comps on this; you're getting it less than half off. I mean, it's it's, it's an incredible deal. I have some original. What original? Oh, no. Um, back by Silver said he saw the new oh, he the he at the Walmart. He says they're not the same. And I said, I have some originals right here. Um, so you're looking, start at $20 on the Kelvin Chen. Kelvin Chen. And I'm going to do free shipping on this. Oh, and free ship. And free shipping. All right. So forget about what I wrote there, plus ship. It'd be $20 free ship. Anybody is, interested in the so small? It would make a good, nice gift decor gift for somebody that's got a um, mm -hmm. fireplace mantle or something like that. And they put the certificate kind of authenticity inside. Yep. So that's how it came in. You'll get the certificate with the teapot, little dragonflies, and grapes. Yeah, the but paint on, the paint job on it, the enameling is very nice. Yeah. They did a nice job on that. It's, it's hand painted. It has the gold um, trim. 
And then, like I said, it's number 1874 in the collection. I'm not too sure how many pieces were in the collection to begin with. But, but if nobody's interested, we'll go to the next one. I'm bringing out unique items today. Why not? Yes, today is a unique day at the I, swap meet. I bring out unique items each day. All right, we'll, we'll put the, the little thing on the side. Um, you guys already saw the Thundercat um, comic book collection. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing out another crazy deal. How about this one? The entire series, 1 through 18, of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Nice. It, it is the complete series. You've got number one, number two, number three. Oh, we're going to do this uh, pricey, same price, $100. But free shipping. But if you check the um, the comps on this, guess what? Nobody has the complete collection. And some of these... Even I don't. Mm-hmm. I have number one autographed, but I don't have I don't have the rest of the set. Number one autograph. In fact, one of these. Yeah, did you saw I, the show I did with Gary Wolf, right? No, yeah, yeah, I was on that show with him. Yeah, yeah. That was an amazing, informative show. I didn't realize you had um it autographed though. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's just picking on you, Mel. My <laughs> the white bag. The white bag. <laughs> she got the white bag. <laughs> Um, one of these is actually graded. Hold on, let me see which one. Uh, this one. It has a grading by the um, comic book. Uh, yeah, it's their it's their interpretation of what it's they. Their interpretation. Uh, it's yeah. probably not legit because it looks like a photocopy, but it's fun to have like something graded. Yep. <laughs> so if anybody is. Just to show real quick, Mark, I was doing the entire series of Thundercats, 1 to 24, every single issue for $100. I'm not going to go through each one, but it's the entire series. So that's why I'm like, Thundercats or Roger, got, Rabbit. Uh, Roger Rabbit, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. So great deal. Anybody who does reselling. You'll be the only one selling the entire series on both of this. Or if you're a collector, you've got the entire se series in hand. <laughs> yeah, so definitely just, collectible pieces right there. Yeah, I just wanted to introduce it out there if anybody's interested. Because I know usually with these shows, I get emails after the show. So it's out there. But I do my two items. We can go to... All right. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> So I did some digging and I found another one. All righty. So this one, ten dollars start, same as last time. Ah. It is the same thing. Two thousand nineteen. Yep. So those are all the ones right. that have the Trizad in them, right? Charizard. What? Yeah. So you I, I don't think I, I think you gotta open it to find out who's in it or what's in it special. Yeah, if yeah. it might have one, it might not. Right. That's like uh buying a lottery ticket, it might be a winner and it might not. Yeah. I, still I don't think at ten bucks, I don't think you can lose on that. Or it marks at twelve. Who knows? Maybe I'm holding a tin that has like a thousand dollar card. Right. People are going nuts for the red box Charizard Pokemon now. Yeah. Um, I see them selling on eBay for as much as five hundred for the box. Crazy. All That's cards crazy. seem to be going crazy lately. That's crazy. It's like they're buying stock investments. <laughs> Mark's at 12 looking for 14 12 looking for 14 Melanie the new um, my store is cheaper than theirs could use this on the shelf oh I'm ruthless when it comes to competition I'm ruthless my wife will tell you 
We, if Coke, I figured a long time ago, if Coke and Pepsi could mention each other in their ads, so can I. And I did. <laughs> Melanie's at 14. Mark is out already, Mark. I'm not sure what card packs are in it. Your gold card would differ based on the set. Good thing I have thousands. Afternoon resellers. Thank you, Bluegrass Picker, for coming in. Coke is getting rid of 50% of their drinks. Wow. I know they just stopped tab. I didn't know they still had it. Calling it to Melanie at 14, looking for 16 once. 14, looking for 16 twice. Last and final call, 14, looking for 16, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Perfect. Sold to Melanie. My store is cheaper than theirs. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. Hello again. All right. Up next, we have for a $10 start, your choice of one of four groups of jewelry. The first group is a pair of Trafari pendants. One is silver. All right, so hold on one second. One of four lots. Yeah, there's four groups of jewelry, and, and it's $10 start for your choice of one of these four groups. Okay. The first one is a set of two Trafari pendants. One is gold tone, and one is silver tone. It's, I like that. You can see through it. They're glass and metal. And they show uh, children in a garden scene. Here's the silver tone. Yeah, very nice. And those are Trafari. So and most would be one group? Yes. Okay. You and get a choice of groups, people. Ten, looking for a $10 start. Second is a group of four stick pins. Uh, two of them. Our Cerakub and two a Trafari. There's a the seashell is Trafari. And there's a star, Cerakub, the cherry is Trafari, and the faux pearl is Cerakub. You got to hold them up. We can't yeah. see them. There you go. That has some smaller dangling shells in it, too. Yep. And what's the first one? Is it like two cherries? Yes. That's cool. The cherry. That's Trafari. That's cool. All right. There's group number two. Everybody looking for a $10 start. Group number three is 18 hat pins. We have apples. Teddy bears. And uh, floral and leaves. This is all one group, 18 tap pins. Well, 18 pins. That's group number three. Okay. The last group is a pair of Monet rhinestone brooches. The first one is an umbrella. Multi-colored rhinestones, mostly a lavender theme with some other colors. Monet, there's the back. And it also with this group is a snowman, rhinestone snowman. All They both have all their stones. This is also Monet. So you have your choice of this group of Monet brooches or the group of the tack pins, 18 tack pins, or the group of the stick pins, or the two Trafari pendants. Your choice of any of those groups for a $10 start. All right. Who's interested? $10 start for one of the four groups. 
looking for ten dollars start. Those three lots of pins was one was one group. That was group number three for the entire lot. That's a good size, too. Yeah. Looking for a $10 start for one of the four groups. If there's no interest, just type in pass. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I appreciate it. I know we all do. <laughs> Any interest, the chat went dead all of a sudden. If no interest, just type in pass so we move it along. Prices per group, sun, moon. Uh, like those pins, the three uh, sheets of pins was, were, was group number three. The four tack pins was group number two, I believe. Then the two brooches, the uh, snowman and the other one was the last group number four. So you're getting choice. You're bidding for choice of group. No, no problem. No problem at all. So the umbrella and the snowman, that's the last group. So you're bidding for your choice of groups. And the pins alone at $10, that's still, once again, that's under a dollar a pin. And here's the first group, the glass ones. Those are nice. One's gold, one's silver tone. Gold tone, silver tone. Last call, $10 for a choice of groups. If no interest, just type in pass. Or if somebody wants to make a reasonable offer, if you're interested, maybe you can negotiate. Sir. I've done that. Going once. Going twice. Last call. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We get a pass, Nancy. All righty. Um, this is from Radio Shack. Um, micro uh, micro RC controller car kit, 164 scale radio control starter kit. Never opened. Can you see it? <laughs> There's a little car up there at the top. Said ten dollar start. Yeah. All right, everybody. Radio Shack. Remember them? Yep. Long time. One sixty fourth scale remote control car.
play with the doggies and the kitties with your 164th scale radio control car. It takes batteries. It takes, yep. uh, I don't know. Or leave it in the package and tell your grandkids, yeah, we used to have a store called Radio Shack. <laughs> yeah. Actually, my son worked there years ago. <laughs> yep. Right out of college. It used to be at every mall. Yeah, yeah everywhere. That was the place to go to buy your parts for your radios and your CB radios and stuff and Melanie's into it at 10 looking for 12. Melanie, I would put that on the wall and say, remember this place? Mm -hmm. okay. That's going to be, you know, everybody laughs, but if you see, uh, if you go to estate sales or garage sales, you see cars and, and the die cast trucks with Sears and Kmart, mm -hmm. pick them up because pretty soon they'll all be gone and those will be like, hey, remember Sears? Remember Kmart? We have Melanie in at 10, looking for 12 on the remote control car. Hey, Dennis, how are you? You're not late. We just started very early. Get Melanie in at 10, looking for 12 on the Radio Shack remote control 164th scale car. Can you show the car, Marion, the top of the package? There you go. It looks like a little tuner, a foreign tuner. Very cool. So it's, it goes two ways, folks. It's a great little piece, little toy. And then it's a great um, Radio Shack collectible. Yeah, I don't see nice too much. Nice conversation piece. Yeah. Box is in good shape. Yeah, it looks it. So we're going to start calling it. We got Melanie in at 10. Looking for 12. 10, looking for 12. We got Frugalicity in at 12. We got 12, looking for 14. Oh, what happened to my voice? 12, looking for 14. On the Radio Shack Zip Zaps. Remote control car, micro RC. It's 164th scale. So, uh, or is it a little bit bigger than a Hot Wheels? I think it's smaller, isn't it? Melanie is out. We're going to start calling it to frugalicity. I have been working in my house, in my storage building, cleaning out the house of all my auction stuff. Oh, very cool, Dennis. Love to have you on. Love to have you on. I'm going to do a big lot of Pokemon cards. Ooh, Brandon's getting the crowd rallied up. All right, we're going to start calling it to Frugalicity. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 3, 3. So, to Frugalicity for 12. Thank you. Send me an email. Yep, Frugalicity, there's her email. With your name, address. Send her your info, and she will send you an invoice. I may not get to work on this till Friday because I bought a storage unit, and I have to run out there after this. Wow. It's full of totes. Full of totes. Those are the good ones, right? The good I storage hope. units full of totes. I hope it better not be my storage unit. Is yours here in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona? <laughs> no, he's got one here in Florida. Oh, be sure you pay the rent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Superman flashlight, new in the box. 
old new stock. What's your start? Five dollars. Kind of a novelty. Too bad I didn't find it before Halloween. Uh, all right, everybody. Superman flashlight. Old new stock. With the batteries. Well, the batteries are probably not good. I don't know. <laughs> I would put fresh batteries in. I don't know how long they last. The first $5 opening bid. Oh, that's the one with Brandon Frazier. So that is back a few years, huh? Yep. Anybody collect old toys? A nice piece to add to your Superman collection. Mm -hmm. We have 30 minutes left. Okay, call it. Any interest, anybody? We're going to start moving it along. Is there a lag? We got, well, 10 seconds. We got 30 minutes to go. We want to show you as many products as we can. Yep. Anybody interested? If not, just type in pass or we will pass it for you. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pass. All right. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. All righty, we're starting out with an old Indiana Jones toy set. This is from 2008. We are looking for $30. This was a Walmart exclusive. Never been opened. In great shape. That way. And that way. This was for the... What was supposed to be the last movie, but now they're making a new one. So this is for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. So as you can see, it was a Walmart exclusive. What's the start? 30. It's in great condition. All right, where's all our action figure peoples? Indiana Jones, Walmart exclusive. As I said, and they, oh, on that side it says set two of two. There was another one, but this is the only one we got left. Any interest on the Indiana Jones action figure set, exclusive set? You said it's all still sealed. If not, we'll give it a pass because we want to get everyone in for one more round. All right. All righty. We'll do something else that I don't think has ever been on your show. We are doing three old issues of Playboy. These are. Uh, I better cover my eyes. Yeah, close your eyes. <laughs> we got 1989 and two from 1991. Looking for a $20 start on the Playboys. Yeah, we are running the gambit of different items today. Come on. 
All right, we got vintage magazines. Well, Melanie, I can bring them out, then you can bring out your Kenny G, and we're all set. And then Carol can bring out her white bag. I don't even want to know. <laughs> no, you don't, Paul. No, no, Pat, that's fine. I still have the the two or three special ones buried away somewhere, like Michael Jackson's sister and was it Madonna? Jackson, Madonna. Yeah. Um, what's her name? Pamela Anderson. Yep, all those. I just found these in a box with other stuff, so I said, oh. No, there's no sticky pages, Melanie. Oh, boy. Not the 40s, Pat. I don't think they started until the late 50s. Yeah. Any interest? Any interest on well, the three you. vintage? It got people chatting in the, in the chat. Now, yeah. I woke him up. Any interest? If not, we'll give it a pass. Any interest? If not, type in pass. Don't forget, Christmas is coming. Make a good Christmas present. <laughs> Make the hell of a stocking stuffer. All righty, we're going to say this a pass. All right. Was that two? That was two. Go All send right. the He-Man, Paul. I'm going to do a quick one. I'm going to start this at 20. All right? What? Here's number one. Uh, I forget what his name is. But um, what is it? When you move something, when you move his waist, he talks. The legs are wonky. These are from the early 80s. These are originals. All right. There's one. Here's two. No weapons. The legs on here are not that bad. Here's Triclops. He's, his legs are pretty good, and his head is pretty good, and his arms are good, and the waist. Here's four. Same thing. Legs, not that bad. Let me get that off there. Looking for a $20 opening bid stink ore. That's it. Yes. So, so far, that's four. Here's number five. King Hiss, I think. This one has a broken foot. All right. So, five. All from the 80s. All originals. Originals. One, two, three, four, five. Looking for a $20 opening bid. If I can get it up to 30, I will add one more classic figure. Any interest on the original He-Man figures? Yeah, I had them all when I, well, I didn't. I bought them all for my son when he was a kid. So any interest on the original He-Man figures looking for a starting bid of 20. Like I said, some of the legs, a little wonky. But if you know collectors, what they do lately is they replace the bands in the legs. And you can get the weapons. It's missing the weapon. Like, he must have had a sword or a laser gun. They sell all that stuff now on eBay.
Thank you, Mel. They do. They do. I was just holding some back for the auction. This is what I was going to add if we get it to 30. Legs are wonky. So any interest going once for 20, going twice at 20. Last and final call at 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. I am selling a jewelry box filled with jewelry, starting bid $20. But I'm going to show you this because this is absolutely gorgeous. It says, to the world, you are a mother, but to our family, you are the world. And it opens up. It does play music. Wind that up. Comes with a key that you can lock up if you decide to. And when you shut it, the music automatically stops. But I'm throwing in 22 items of jewelry, all classic items. You'll get some really nice earrings. Some necklaces. This is all wearable jewelry. Nice little. What's the start? Uh, Twenty dollars. I just dropped something, but that's okay. I'll put it back in. And there's twenty-two items of jewelry, all different types, all wearable. No stones missing. No items missing. And you'll get the entire collection for twenty. Plus shipping on this one. Look how beautiful those pieces are. Nice. Yeah. And like I said, the jewelry alone, if you resell jewelry or an, an expert with that, that alone can go for, that's actually just because. I think Carol sells jewelry. Mm -hmm. I'm not an expert with jewelry at all. Any interest in the full jewelry box? Full of wearable jewelry. Looking for $20 opening bid. And plus, it came into a great deal of jewelry that I'm basically selling it by the poundage. <laughs> nice. So. Any interest? Nice little earrings. So you'll get 22 items of jewelry in the musical jewelry box. And it says mother, so it makes it gift for your mommies. Comes with a little key for the lock, and it's a working lock. And it's Very nice. Any interest in the jewelry box with the jewelry, wearable jewelry, looking for a $20 opening bid? And if nobody's interested, I could just move on right to the next item. But there's, like I said, 22 pieces of jewelry in here, plus the jewelry box. $20 for everything. That's a great deal. That is a great deal. <laughs> if not, like I said, I sell jewelry by the poundage. So depending on how many pounds you want, I do great deals on that too. Are you going to have those big giant jars in the store like they sell the... Um jelly beans and you say jewelry by the pound and you get pet bags there and people could weigh it with a scale. <laughs> yes. The idea I was doing is instead of doing the jars is to do different boxes. So I have a whole bunch of different style jewelry boxes and I would do exactly like this. Nice. Like, all the jewelry and then just put a price tag. So that's, that's my idea on that. Nice. Um, what do you think would need to ship this? I would think it is a little heavy, but it's small and compact, so I'm going to estimate about, depending where you're located, $9 if you're, like, in Central. If you're in, like, New York or uh, California, they always raise the prices. That's about $12. So, but estimation about $9. Nebraska. Eh. Yeah, you probably... 
Yeah, that's not too hard. You'll probably be about nine, ten dollars. I'll give the exact weight and everything if I knew the um the exact location, which no, you don't have to post it. But it's shipping from Texas. I do next day uh ship out, so she said Nebraska. Nebraska. What Nebraska. am I pronouncing wrong to? <laughs> Nebraska. Oh, it's right. my accent. If no interest, type in pass. We I'll, need go to, I'll go to the next item, but you can okay. always contact me at my email below because, like I said, I do a lot of crazy deals. And those who know me, I will stack up the deals. And then finally, I'm doing a special. Two jelly bean rugs. They're handmade. They're machine washable. And they're from, from the company uh, Jelly Bean. They're indoor outdoor. One and I'm doing both of these for six dollars. You're uh -huh. getting both of them for six dollars. Yes. Wow. Well, it's a great deal. They're washable rugs. This has a scene, a country scene with a little gazebo, the little uh, or a church. No, that would be a church. A church gazebo, little mountain sort of scene. And then this one is for your alcoholics. It's wine. So if you love wine. It's a wine rug. Has the bottle of wine, has the and these are great rugs. I mean, like I said, they're washable. You could throw them in the machine, you could throw them in the dryer. They're great as a doormat or just a general rug. And you get both of them for six dollars. Nice. Sizes. Nice. Colorful too. Sizes would be hold on. Bigger than Rhode Island. I mean, um, Carol. <laughs> I'm looking to see if they show the size and uh, oh 21 inches by 33 inches 21 inches they're 100 percent polyester um machine wash cold line dry they do recommend um a liner is recommended to provide oh no this does i'm sorry this does have the slip resistance T-S-T-W-S-S. -S. I don't know what that means. It's probably something bad towards me. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and you'll get both of these. And they roll up really nicely, so it's not that bad to ship. Yeah, they're very colorful. Very nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Any interest? You're getting both for $6. How many do you have? Um, I had 20 of them, but I actually sold it, so these are the last two. <laughs> wow. At six bucks. I'm surprised you still got those. Yeah. Any interest? Six dollars for that's three dollars a rug. You I got was, Carol was Creative Corner and it's I was six. selling them online at the different auctions every now and then, and people were buying them because I was selling them. What do you mean different auctions? There's other auctions? Unbelievable, you froze. There's yep. a first for you. I'm frozen? Yep. Wow. Now oh. you're pixelated. Uh-oh. Oh, oh I no. Think, I think it's because you swore. You said there were other auctions. Uh -oh. Am I still frozen? Uh, All right. Well, no, you're not as clear, but no, it'll it'll hopefully fix itself. But that was the first for you to freeze like that. Yeah, I never freeze. But then again, we have a storm outside, so maybe that's what the reason all right. We get six looking for eight. Six on the two rugs looking for eight. Will the rugs fit in Rhode Island? Yeah, because Rhode Island's pretty small. Oh, okay. That might go the rug might go from Massachusetts to Connecticut and just cover Rhode Island. Yeah, I'm just gonna completely cover the state. <laughs> we have six looking for eight. And like I said, you get the little countryside scene and then you get the wine scene. For your alcoholics. Yeah, I like the use of colors. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they're definitely bright. And like I said, the company's name is Jelly Bean. I said. <laughs> but if not, we could call it to Carol. Oh, wait, we got Joy in at eight. Joy's in at eight. Hi, Joy. Thanks for coming in. Two rugs, eight dollars, still a great deal. We've got nine. Oh, it is a great deal. It's, that's that would be expected for one. 
Carol, <laughs> you want to be 10? We do $2 increments, Carol. I mean, okay, okay, here. All right. All right. I'll just show you. Look at the price tag for one. That's what wow. they were selling in the store. I'm giving you two. <laughs> All right. They're dollar bidding it out. Joy's at 12. They're battling it out. <laughs> yep, Carol's limited on how many characters she can type, so she's doing shorthand. <laughs> Carol's at 14. Joy's at 15. Okay, I think we're calling it to Joy then, because Carol is out. Anybody else interested? Two rugs. That's 15 right now. We got 15. That's half price of one of them. Mm -hmm. And the advance on 15 going once. And the advance on 15 <laughs> going twice. Mm -hmm. Carol and I like oil and water. Last and final call. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. That is a soul. Thank you so much, Joy. So I will send you an invoice at the end of the show. All right. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, this Pokemon collection is pretty big. So the starting bid I would like would be two fifty. Now, first of all, there's this whole stack of pages. Okay, hold on a second. Big Pokemon collect Pokemon start at how much? Two hundred and fifty. Wow. Because there's a lot. There is fifty one of these pages. So, like, baseball card, uh, yep, you know, slots. And so they're all kind of just organized by color and with all these slots. I mean, there's – I don't know how to hold these. Do you have any idea of the years? Oh, they're all a mix. There's some from 95. There's some from 2006. Um, there's some from 2012. They're, they're all a mix. Any of the holographic cards? Um, like these? Uh, yep. Like those, Melanie? Yep, those are the ones. There's quite a lot of them in here. Um, Hi, Penny. So you get 51 pages. So that's almost that. 460 cards right there. You get approximately five pounds of cards. This whole cup. Hologra holographic one on the top there. Yeah, that's a EX card. Okay. So, the condition on the cards in this bucket um, is fair to end because... <laughs> Because uh, some may be bent in this box, and uh, some might be good. However, in these 51 pages of cards, um, these are all good conditions. So. so you've got well over 600 cards there. Wow. Um, I would say well over like 2,000 cards. Well, is it on the pocket, uh, on the nine pocket sleeves, is it just the one card or is there a card on the back of them? No, there, there's cards on the back and then there's multiple cards on the inside. So, for instance. Like uh, one of them might have like five of them in there and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. For instance, like these two are the same card. Yeah. So, there's a bunch of the same cards in the sleeves. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, now you're looking at... Yeah, about at least 1,500 to 2,000 cards. Yes. It's a lot of cards. There's 51 pages. And then, of course, 
approximately five more pounds of cards. Well, anybody interested in something. the entire lot of Pokemon cards? All different years. Um, Melanie, can you put your email address in for um, Joy? Any interest in the Pokemon cards? Would anybody be interested in a smaller lot of the Pokemon cards? Like maybe the bin or maybe just all the pages. Maybe Brandon would um, separate them a little. There you go. Mark says, how much for just the pages? Um, let me see. 51 pages. At nine, at nine and a pocket, Brandon, that's uh, 460 cards, basically. But if they're two sided, if they have if cards on nobody, both sides, yeah. what? Sure. Not even cards. For 51 pages, and there's multiple cards in each slot, I would probably start this off at 150. One fifty, Mark, if you're interested for just the pages. These are heavy. Yes, they are. Uh, cards are gonna be so heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing that paper is so heavy. I know. Heavy as heck. <laughs> yep. I'll show some more pages. So fifty-one pages, Pokemon cards. Some are doubled, right? Yes. And some are plain and some are the metallic ones. Yep. And that's still plus ship, right? Or are you adding, sh you including? Uh, plus shipping. Plus shipping. All right, so 51 pages of Pokemon cards from various eras. Looking for 150 plus ship. Anyone interested? I am, but I got two statues that I got to pay for first. Yeah, I don't know too much about Pokemon. I used to play it when I was a kid, but I don't really... Oh, well, it shouldn't be too bad, Mark, because he's halfway to you. Um, shipping to California? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> what do you think? It'll be about 20 or $21, roughly around there. No more than that. Do you use pirate ship, Brandon? No, I don't. Yeah, you gotta use pirate ship. It's I, free. It I is just free. use USPS. See, like Melanie says, throw it in a flat rate medium box and only be thirteen bucks. Well, I mean, my mom said large flat rates. So I don't, I don't know. She's the one that ships the stuff. I might fit in a medium for fifteen. Anyway, you're looking at an average 20 bucks, Mark, for shipping. And it's probably going to be priority. So it'll be protected and insured. Mark wants, not Mark's negotiating. He wants to know if you could do 150 shipping included. Dun, dun, dun. Just for the, just for the sleeves. For the sleeves. No cards, just the sleeves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, again. oh, I don't know. Um, I could do one fifty and give you half off shipping. So one sixty <laughs> shipped. 
The bargaining goes on. 160 shipped, Mark. What do you think? 51 pages. So heavy. I can't even hold it. Cards. 160 shipped. Tom says he'll do 160 for the pages, shipping included. But then Mark says, okay. So are we going to have a bidding war? <laughs> Looks like we are. Oh, Tom. Who's Tom Cruise? I think I know Tom Cruise. Yeah. He's not, he never registered here, Tom. Uh, I know who you are, but you haven't registered. But we got Tom at 160, Mark at 160. Either one of you interested in 170 shipped? That's like shipping. Tom is registered. And if you want, I'll make you even a better deal. Well, we should negotiate the first deal we have first. <laughs> okay. Not to confuse things, because we, we're running out of time fast. Yeah. Um, well, oh. I was going to say I could do everything free shipping and $200. You mean both lots? Yeah. Uh, filled out the George form. Okay, so... All right, show them both again. So you got 51 pages. All right, guys, Tom and Mark, plus whoever else is interested. We got both of you in at 160 shipped. Now he's offering all the pages and the box of cards there. Another four pounds you said that was? Uh, another uh, approximately five pounds. It's just five pounds of Pokemon cards. He'll offer $200 shipped. Tom's in for 200. Any other interest? If not, Mark, did it. what do you want to do, Mark? We got Tom in for 200 shipped for the whole lot. The EX over here is the black cream, black correct. He's out. All right, Mark is out. So let's call it to Tom for everything 200. Here's everybody's last chance 10. All the Pokemon cards, everything he showed, all the, the binders, the the 51 page binder pages, and the box, 200 shipped. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Sold to Tom Cruise. The sale of the day. Yeah. Excellent buy, excellent deal. Tom, hit their email, root66bricks007 at gmail. Send them an email, and they will invoice you. And thanks for coming in. Yeah, Tom no does a auction with Gary uh, on Saturdays. Uh, a great deal. So now we have Nancy. Hello. And for this slot, what we're doing is your choice of any pair of earrings for starting bid of $3 a pair, your choice of any pair. And I wrote down the names right near the earrings. We got Monet, Napier, another Monet, Napier. And then the top row is all Monet. They're all clip-on vintage earrings. We also have Jafari, Monet, Jafari, and one pair of Nolan Miller. Right over here. So those are white. 
flowers with clear rhinestones. I'll show you the backs. It's all clip ons. All right, we got earrings. Everybody looking for choice. Three dollars start for choice. Thank you again, everybody, for coming in. I know we're running a little late. We're going to get Marion and Jerry in there. And these earrings. Any interest on the earrings? Three dollar choice opening bid. There's some silver tone, some gold tone. Good brand names: Napier, Monet, Trafari, Nolan Miller. Any interest? If no interest, just type in pass. Any interest on the earrings? Looking for a $3 opening bid for choice. $3 opening bid for choice. Have to move it along, everybody. I guess there's no interest, but thank you for looking. All righty. Thank you, Nancy. And it was nice finally meeting you. Thank you. Hopefully we'll do this again sometime. Thank you very much. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you. All right, Marion. Sorry for the lateness. That's okay. I have four little action figures. I don't know who those are. Those look... It could be G.I. I think those are G.I. Joe's. This one, this one, and then I don't know what this is. That looks like Evangelion or Transformers. And then I have this one. Five dollars for the four. I don't know who that is. And then this is a little bigger one. But I don't know if this arm is supposed to move or not, but it doesn't move. No, that's that's uh and he doesn't not, have it. not very articulated, but it's a power original Power Rangers. Yeah, it has. He's missing some little tools here. His uh, gun, I think. What's the um, opening bid? Five for all of them. All right, we got four action figures. The first one looks like a three three quarter inch GI Joe. So the sure. last one's original Power Rangers. You got to go over to the left more, Marion. Any interest? All four. It's been fast and furious. <laughs> I don't know the two middle ones. One oh, could be a Transformers. I don't know who the blue guy, the blue and black guy is. Uh, Purple could be the trans a Transformer. Frugalicity is in for five. Okay. He must know who they are. Yes, the whole lot of frugalicity. Oh, one price, five bucks. Five, looking for seven on the four figures. All right, Tom, thank you very much, and thank you for coming in. Brandon, he said they sent you an email. You got five, looking for seven on the four figures. And frugalicity says he emailed you, Marion. Yeah. I'll just add it to his. He bought something earlier. The four figures, five looking for seven going once. Five looking for seven going twice. Last and final call to frugalicity. Ten, nine, eight, 
seven six five four three two. Okay. So, Googleicity. Thank you. Thank you. I have a small Christmas lot. Three items. Uh, this is a cute little stuffed uh, snowman. It's cute. What's the start, Marion? Ten for three three items. And then this is really cute, and you put a battery in here to light up. It's a sparkling snowman. Three piece Christmas lot. Looking for a ten dollar opening bid plus ship. See it? It's cute. It's in good shape. And then this is a little bigger item. It's also a snowman. You see it? It's really yep. cute. Very soft, white plush. Has this skis with him. So ten dollars for all three. Looking for ten opening bid for the Christmas decor for all three piece. What was the third piece? Uh, it's a little stuffed, stuffed one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a snowman. He's very cute. He's well made. Has a basket. Yeah. He's got a scarf and his hat. Three decor pieces, everybody. Looking for a ten dollar opening bid for three Christmas decor pieces. We're getting closer. Or winter wonderland pieces. Yeah. We'll give him those gifts. Any interest? If no interest, type in pass. And I got to run after this. I have to go pay for the storage unit. All right, Marion. Thank <laughs> you for coming in. Is picking me up. We'll have a lot of the good new stuff. All right. Probably. Yeah, if everybody doesn't know, Marion buys storage units. Yeah, we have fun with it. All right, we have a pass, Marion. Okay, guys. See you next week. All right. Thank you, Marion. Thank Bye. you. Bye. You guys have a good evening. Are you going to be doing the show next Wednesday, Paul? Because it is election day. Well, Tuesday's we can vote for the best uh, reseller. Tuesday's election day. Not Wednesday. Uh, is next Wednesday election day? No, Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday is. Tuesday. Yeah, but they're still going to be doing the runoff votes and all that fun stuff. Well, oh, they'll be doing it for a month December. afterwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Tuesday's a bad idea to have anything on YouTube. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> okay. All right, we are doing a set of four figures from 1995, looking for a $25 start on original Star Wars figures. All in the packages. All right, set of four Star Wars figures, $25. Somebody will declare victory with millions of votes still to be counted. <laughs> Two all, hit chicks. They're all in great shape. Not really two hip chicks. The, the, the lag should be incredible. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm saying it. It's going to be crazy because... You figure with them tearing up everything on the internet. Yeah, well, between all the TV stations, the news stations, and everybody reporting. All right, who's interested in the four Star Wars figures? And uh, Luke Skywalker and the Obi-Wan, those are the hard ones because those are the ones with the long lightsabers. Usually they made them shorter, but... They also made them this way where they had longer ones. Now, I could say something. But... Yep, you could. Uh, four Star Wars figures, $25 plus ship, all mint on card, as they say. Be a good start to someone's collection, a good addition to someone's collection. You don't have to give brand new today items for Christmas. You can give collectible items, too. Yep, because the collector and the family will enjoy them. If not, we're going to say pass and move it along. This, that, and the other thing. All righty. Last thing we have is a collection of comics. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 
16 comics. These are from the mid 70s to the early 60s. They will be bagged if they get sold, but for right now, this way you can take a look at them. We have um, what's the start with Man Wolf? What's the start? Uh, 20. Number 33, 32, 31, and 30. Then we have Giant Size Chillers, number one. Dracula. Giant Size Chillers, number two. Power of Shadows, number five. Outer Limits. Giant Size Chillers, number three. Tomb of Darkness, number 12. Tower of Shadows, number two. Tower of Shadows, number three. Frankenstein. Chambers of Darkness, number one. And Creatures on the Loose, number 14. 16 comics looking for a twenty dollar opening bid plus ship. Yep. They're all in fair condition, no big problems to them, you know, slight wear, which is to be expected for their age. The worst ones is the Dracula and the Frankenstein. It looks like they were out in the weather, but it's good ones to have, just to say you have them. Who's interested? Any interest on the comic lots? Any interest? If not, we're going to pass it. Hello, Susie. Thanks for coming in. All righty, we're going to say that's a pass, and back to you, Paul. All righty, I'm just putting something in the chat. All right, everybody, thanks for coming. I know we went over, we try to get off at 6 because Johnny Cajun Roots is on with Queen yeah, Cleopatra. Cleopatra. <laughs> um they do an auction at six. They come on after us. So I hate being late. Um, so please go over, show them some love. They this they have different things than we have. So between all these auctions, there's something for everybody. I'll definitely. be on there next week. Cool. Jerry will be on next week. So once again, thanks everybody for coming, spending some time with us. Hope you you've got some good deals. You got to see some cool stuff. And if you want to be a seller, just be in the chat early next Wednesday, and we'll do this all over again. Thank Bye, you. Take care, everyone. Happy Halloween. Oh, yes. Happy Halloween. And happy anniversary to my lovely wife. Happy anniversary.